Hey guys, it's Sergeant here, and yes, I'm wearing the headset because that's the only microphone I have at the moment until I get a desktop mic to actually do, be able to do this kind of stuff and get a better camera as well because this is just a Logitech C270 webcam um, for now. That'll change. I guarantee that'll change eventually. So, here is the video. Here's a tech video, one of the first on the channel. Uh, I'm going to be going over motherboard connections on a generic HP AMD motherboard. So, uh, it's a purely just a reference video. I get asked this question a couple of times by friends that don't know as much about computers. And, uh, basically just shows what goes where and I'm going to try to do it as fast as possible. So anyways, let's go on to the first thing that is the CPU. Okay, before I make this, or before I show this part of the video, I wanted to warn you guys, have a basic understanding of computer terminology. Uh, I'm planning on making a video about computer terminology or some basics of it, but for now, please know some before continuing watching this video. So, this is an AMD motherboard, we have it, We have the CPU right here, and that's your CPU socket. All you need to know is that your CPU goes there. That big box, generally around the center of your motherboard, that's where your processor goes. Simple. Okay, our next slot on the motherboard would be these four slots right here, the black and blue slots. These are your RAM slots, and here's a stick of RAM. And all you do is you'll see, you'll kind of see, the cap these capacitors here kind of block it, but you'll kind of see where an area where this black line or the, the divot to where it actually plugs in. You'll kind of notice it stops kind of there in sort of the middle. It's like two thirds of the way down the slot. That's a little notch, and you would line that up on your RAM, obviously. And so, basically, for one stick of RAM, if I can line it up the camera, for one stick of RAM, it just plugs in. It can plug into pretty much any single one of these. Tabs flip, blah, blah, you plug it in. You plug it in, stuff like that, tabs go down. You know, your basic stuff. Now, you'll probably wonder why these are color-coded. Let me get this a little bit farther probably wondering why these color are color coded. That's in case you are using two sticks of RAM. So you would plug them into both of the blue slots or both of the black slots. No one blue, one black, because then it won't run right. It won't run in dual channel mode, which is what you want. So one stick of RAM, it can plug in anywhere. Two sticks of RAM, plug it into the same color. Three and four sticks of RAM, uh, check your motherboard manual or do a little research or whatever. Uh, four sticks of RAM, obviously. Four sticks of RAM, it pretty much goes in wherever. It's very dependent on the motherboard, like I said, but most of the time, one stick of RAM anywhere, two sticks of RAM match the colors. So, plugs in. Pretty much just like that. Okay, now onto the next slot. This big slot and these three smaller slots that are beneath it. These are all your PCI slots. Um, your bigger one is for your graphics card, typically, if you have one. If you're making a gaming computer, you're definitely going to need one. You're definitely going to need a graphics card. These bottom three are for pretty much anything else. SSDs, uh, Wi-Fi cards, uh, LED, pow power for the LEDs inside your computer if you want them. Pretty much anything else other than a graphics card goes in the other slots down there. And so I have a graphics card right here. It's a very low-end generic MSI card. And all it does is plug in to that slot. Well, it won't plug in all the way because this is in the way, but... Now, you're probably wondering what on earth the... If the camera can see it. This white, this white block here, right there probably wondering what on earth that white block there is for and this big block thing is what you would call it really these two connections are your power connections pay attention to here and here 
these are your main power supply connections. I have a spare power supply right here to be able to show you. So, i just set it in my lap real quick. So, your big connector would obviously just plug right in. It only goes in one way. This is where your power supply connections would go. And then for the CPU. Now, this one only, this motherboard is unique in that it only, well, it's not really unique, but you can tell this is an older, weaker CPU because it's only got one power connection. A lot of the times you're going to get two with your power supply, two in two separate blocks. Uh, I know my computer uses both of them, but uh, depends. If it uses one, plug one in. If it uses both, plug both in. And those obviously, like, those also only go in one way. Now our next port is these ports down here, these four color ports here. And then there's also two right here that's also kind of unique to this motherboard is uh, those. But generally there'll be six on here or four or just a lot of them. You have a lot of them. These are your SATA ports and let's see which way this should be to get the best the best angle out of it. Point more downward. There we go. Okay. Okay. So your SATA ports basically this is your SATA to connect the the actual data, this is the data transfer between your either DVD drive or hard drive or SSD if you have one. But uh, here's a, just a generic SATA cord. It's very flat. It's almost like a ribbon cable, but not as wide. So basically, Basically, one end plugs in to the motherboard, the other end plugs into a hard drive, which I will need to get more integrally. Hang on. So I got a PlayStation 4 hard drive. Um, so, got the hard drive here. This is a small hard drive. Uh, most desktop ones will be quite a bit bigger than that, so. And obviously, the other end. I'm sorry this is out of focus, like, completely, but... There we go, that's a little bit better. So obviously, this end plugs into uh, the smaller connector on the hard drive. Looks right in. Okay, so now these connectors are very, very motherboard dependent. Pretty much all motherboards have these, but the way they are are very motherboard dependent. This is a generic motherboard, so it's got a bunch of uh, unnecessary connections really I would call them or connections you won't use so let's point the camera back down so that would be this port or these pins these pins these pins and this connector and then there's a couple others on the side but I won't worry about those so but and they're very similar so the big blue one is the most important one this would be uh, your USB 3 connector so I have a piece of tape fell okay so I have a USB 3.0 kind of connection here and all it does the blue end plugs in to this and then these would go towards your front panel uh, cases already have these installed this is from like I said I make I'm working on another video so these uh, these should already be in your front panel to begin with. The other end of the cord, on the other hand, will need to plug into your motherboard. And so, the other connections, these are like your front panel audio and other front panel stuff. Very, very motherboard dependent. I don't have the right connectors to show you exactly how it is for this motherboard, but you'll have to look at your motherboard manual. Another thing I'd like to note is there is a... No, that's not it. Wait, is it? There. 
Another thing I'd like to note, back here, this connection, this is for your CPU fan, as far as this motherboard goes. Uh, it's usually four pinned, maybe. I think I, it might be three at sometimes, but it's four for the most part. Uh, that's where your fan plugs in for your processor, for your processor's heatsink. I don't have the heatsink on me just yet. I'm waiting for some thermal paste, and I gotta clean it off and everything, so I'm not gonna bother getting it out. Now, let's get into the I.O., or your inputs and outputs. That would be on the back of your computer, or in this case, back of the motherboard. It's back of the motherboard all the time, but, like, if you have a generic computer or pre-built, it's the back of the computer. It's really the motherboard, but, you know. So these six connections here are your audio jacks. You mostly use the green and red one, but these are other ones for other devices. I'm not 100% sure what they are for, but those two, obvious. They're on like every computer nowadays. So they've been on every computer forever, basically. Uh, these are really old. Then moving on down the line, these, all these, these two here, these two here, and these two here, those are USB ports. The blue colored one are USB 3. Uh, there's a couple of newer USB types out, like green I think is USB 3.1, and then there's USB Type-C, but that's a video for another day. So then this plug at the top is your Ethernet port. That's uh, if you want a wired network. Uh, you, can get, you can plug in a USB wireless if you need to, but that's your Ethernet. Then these two here on this motherboard this is also very motherboard dependent a lot of newer motherboards also have HDMI which I can show in a second but this is VGA um, if I just grab a VGA cord real quick off my little makeshift cord rack obviously VGA plug right here it's like what 15 pin your 15 pin VGA connection that obviously just plugs right in there and you screw in the ends now I don't have a cord for this but then there's also a DVI connection that's a digital this is much better if you have a DVI cable use this there's a couple different DVI types like on this graphics card there's a different type of DVI it's got these four little squares on this end here right there this one doesn't uh, there's a couple of different variants of DVI but definitely use DVI or HDMI uh, you should know what HDMI looks like, to be honest. Uh, that's everywhere on TVs and game consoles and everything like that. If you don't know what an HDMI port is, where have you been? <laughs> so then the last port, which I also don't have a connection for, is this little port. It's very weird looking. I've never used it before. It's basically digital audio. I believe that's for more modern... Modern surround or... I don't even know, but it's like a digital audio of some sort. This is about the only one that's kind of a mystery. I believe it was made by Toshiba or something like that. It's kind of a standard on motherboards, but it's a very unused standard, so I don't know why they waste motherboard space putting these in. If someone knows a little bit more about that port than I do, feel free to let me know in the comments. And another port I forgot to mention was this weird looking thing down here. You're not going to see this very often. It's this right here. There's a, this is a mini PCI right here. There's just a wireless card, a uh, built-in Wi-Fi card connected into it. This came with the motherboard. It was like that. It's mini PCIe. You're not going to see it very often. So that about wraps up motherboard connections. Um, feel free to leave comments, blah, 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 blah. You know the drill. You know the drill. Uh, I will do more tech videos for sure. I really, I really like doing this kind of stuff. It's uh, very fun for me. I enjoy doing this kind of stuff. I enjoy doing technology videos as much as I do gaming videos. So that kind of shows you about as much as I like to do this stuff. So, like I said, I will make videos on like basic computer terminology and maybe how like this thing works or you know, maybe even eventually how to build an entire computer, or how to install this, how to install that, uh, maybe some basic Windows stuff, uh, you know, various technology videos. Uh, I have another one coming, like I said, basically, um, 
I'm not going to say anything really other than that. I'm using that motherboard for it. Uh, the motherboard that was shown in the video, I'm using that. And I'm just waiting for some thermal paste to finish the video. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, I hope to do more of this and find some other things to do. I've already got a couple ideas in mind, but, you know, they could not work or I find out eventually that I don't have the right equipment for it or something like that. But uh, anyways, I'll stop uh, rambling on. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.